Hi folks, welcome to another Fusion Friday from NYC CNC. We're actually gonna redo the knife that we made last week with some major improvements. They may seem subtle, I think it's worthy of a video. I'm in a new Fusion file, L for line. I'm gonna select this face right here to sketch on. And we are going to sketch, click, drag down for our first line, drag over for our next line, and then I'm gonna hold, keep holding the mouse down and watch. It jumps straight into a, an arc. Isn't that awesome? And then click back over. Now we can go ahead and dimension our part. I don't remember exactly what it was. It doesn't really have to be identical. You guys get the idea. Now when I go to hit Q for press pull, I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna choose symmetric. And I'll type in 0.05. That gives me the same thickness of 0.1 inches, and it's gonna let me use the existing, uh, if we turn on our origin here, it's gonna let me use the existing plane to mirror the knife edge over, and it's going to be just, it's just cleaner. You don't have to add another construction plane, and uh, I'm told that these are more stable because they're inherent to the model. They're not created planes that can sort of move or whatever. Okay, insert construction plane, offset plane here, and you know, don't be scared to click and drag. And that was, you know, the engineer side of me, the solid work side of me doesn't like moving stuff with my mouse. But in this instance, it can actually be okay. It's, it's part of how I've sort of started to change thinking about how I work. So we've got our plane there. And now I'm going to uh, do something that's a little bit strange to me, which is we need to hit P for project. And we need to project onto this plane, this or onto, yeah, onto the knife blade, this new plane. See, it created that vertical line there. Um, we, we need that line for this model, model to be better designed, to be more parametric, to be more stable going forward. And um, we could have still figured out how to snap it to there, but it, by creating this line, you're creating a parametric reference to that plane, and I'm just told it's better CAD etiquette. We can now create the, the sweep line. So hit L for line. You can see it snaps to. Same thing, drag over. I'm about to click down and I'm gonna click down here and hold. And I like to do, hit escape or done. I like to create things incorrectly because I'm going to then use the concentric thing to snap it to, by creating it at a more extreme, I don't mistakenly forget that it's not um, already concentric and forget to say do that. That right there saves me from having to, what we did last week, we'll create that point way up at the top, which was a bunch of silliness. And now if I hit escape to go back to select, I can select this line and you can see regardless of where I place it, these two are concentric, awesome. I'll dimension it anyways. We'll say 0.5. Now I'm going to hit stop sketch, L for sketch. I'll choose this plane. And again, I'm told good CAD etiquette to switch by hitting P and project this point and that line, we're creating more you know, parametric reference material. By the way, uh, click OK. If you need to convert stuff into shortcuts, just hold it down and hit X. Best keyboard shortcut ever invented in the history of mankind. Thank, thank you. So back to L, front view, we can snap our sketch like so create sweep, hold down the left mouse button. That lets us select the profile right there. Choose the path, like so. Perpendicular and parallel, thanks for explaining it, folks. It's quite simple. Uh, perpendicular keeps the cut sweep pattern perpendicular to it, whereas parallel keeps it parallel to the original face right there. Um, click OK. That's mostly done, and we can now create modify or create create mirror. We'll choose hold down control to click these two faces, and then mirror plane right here. And I will choose this plane right there. Click OK. There we have it. Super easy, folks. I know that doesn't seem crazy, but a lot of little improvements there that are actually really important. Thank you to everybody who contributed. I'd also really like to thank my buddy, Kevin. Kevin runs the company Mechanical Advantage. They do uh, 
Autodesk type training and they run a great blog, including some stuff on Fusion 360. So be sure to check out his content as well. Thanks everybody, happy new year. See you soon.